FISD. And I'd like to thank Diane, the, Miss Diane Manuel and Miss Sue Zemke for helping me set that up. That was absolutely amazing of them. And then a very big assistance point I got was from Keep Up. Now Keep Up is the biggest organization on campus with 350 members. It doesn't hurt that my sister is one of the officers of the organization. So on the right, this is when they threw out a reminder saying, hey, um, tomorrow there's going to be a public health awareness event for us. A key club member, which I'm part of, so feel free to attend. And so that got quite a few people going to that event. I can't thank them anymore. And so these are a couple pictures of the event itself. I am either striking a pose or very nervous. You choose which one sounds better. And this is Dr. Curran presenting on it. She did Zika. And then there are two other individuals from Collin County Public Health. Public Health Department, Dr. Joy Ashgar and uh, Miss Diane, Miss Diane Lynch, who talked about their experience with Ebola because they're relatively had very, relatively close proximity to Dallas, which was the center of Ebola, as you all know. And I think it went very, very well. Um, I got people to know about Zika, Ebola, as well as through a live Q and A session, various different topics they were curious about that they got the answers to, and so. I think it was a resounding success for me. Um, the, sc well, the scale of it was relatively small. Um, Jay Schlegel had an event with around 300 people. I had a small one with around 30, but that's okay. Any little bit helps, any little bit counts. It's always, I might say that epidemiology is about the bigger picture, right? But you create the bigger picture with the little picture, the little bits and pieces. And so that's why events like these are such, so important. About getting the word spread out is so important. So my final thoughts. This is, as I said earlier, my second year in ISM, and I've learned so much through both of them. The textbook definition of ISM is a program where students can learn about a field they're interested in through independent research, as well as mentoring, shadowing on a professional in that field. I pretty much memorized that definition over two years. But to me, ISM isn't just that, growing as a person. I'm 18 years old. I'm a legal adult. I have many of the same privileges as some of you in this room, but I'm not done yet, right? ISM has pushed me along the way. Before ISM, I could not talk to anyone like this. I could not stand up in front of a room, give a speech, and feel comfortable doing that. But ISM taught me that. It taught me valuable skills that aren't just specific to epidemiology, specific to public health specific to any field, it's just specific to being a person, right? Being able to talk to other people, bring other people in, explain things to other people is extremely important and I can't thank the program enough for that. My quote for this year in ISM, sort of a motto to live by, was said by Woodrow Wilson, you are not here merely to make a living, you are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement, you are here to enrich the world and you impoverish yourself if you forget that error. That's sort of the motto of a public servant. I want to spend the rest of my life helping other people, not directly per se, but helping people. Helping people stay healthy. They don't have to know I'm doing it. That's perfectly fine. I just want to be able to do it. And thank all of you for helping me be a part of that. Thank you, Dr. Kurian, for teaching me along the way. Thank you to my parents for supporting me. And I think we're done. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have one question. What is how long the wait lasts? Is disease the wait? Days, because that was about the fastest time any disease um, kind of goes from infection to symptomatic, like showing signs of it. Uh -huh. um, that's for example, the fastest time. That's okay. Um, realistically, the fastest. Um, I think we. Uh, uh, that's one. That's that's the, that's the lower end. Okay. The incubation was seven to twenty-one, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So. I just wanted the slower end, or the faster end. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So the power of nineteen of this, how do you, how do you, how do you get those equi equation though? Power of three. Are, well, this is more mathematical. Yeah. It's not. It's uh -huh. if you have, um, if one person, say if I get infected, right, and my R not is the rate, initial rate of infection, right? So if my RN is three, I would infect three other people, and it'd grow from there. 
Okay. Right, so three times three times three times zero. Times three. Okay. This is how you. Yes. So usually is the equation just simple as this or some equation?